Hello folks, once again, welcome to another video session on thirds and this in this session we are going to discuss about equality of two thirds. Okay, so what is meant by equality of two thirds or when what is the condition when two thirds are equal? Let us say we have two thirds a plus root b and x plus root y. Okay, where where a b x and y all are rational numbers all are rational numbers and and b and y are not perfect squares okay perfect squares why am i Taking this condition, we'll see a little later. But a and b, a, 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 b, x, and y all are rational numbers, and b, are, b and y are not perfect square. That means what? Root of b and root of y are irrational, pure irrational, irrational numbers. Okay. So now a plus root b. So we say that if a plus or rather a plus root b is equal to x plus root y if and only if a is equal to x and b is equal to y this is this is what is meant by equality of two thirds let's take an example so let us say if you have x plus root y is equal to 3 minus 2 root 7 or rather 3 plus root 7 then x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 7. This is what is meant by equality of two thirds. Let us now try to prove it. Okay, so if let us say a is equal to x and b is equal to y, that is what our assertion is. Let us say a is not equal to x. Okay, a is not equal to x, and uh, then we can definitely say that a is equal to x plus m, isn't it? A is equal to x plus m. So hence, a and now we have a plus root b is equal to x plus root y, and we can then say x plus m plus root b is equal to x plus root y okay so this x and this x goes so that means m plus root b is equal to root y which is impossible impossible why because on the left hand side we have a combination of rational plus irrational and on the right hand side we have an ir ir irrational only other way you can you can say m is equal to root y minus root b now y and b are not perfect squares right are not perfect squares we saw that above so that means what that means what root y minus root b is an irrational number is an irrational number okay and m being what a minus x was m isn't it from here see m was a minus x which is difference of two rational numbers difference of two rational numbers hence hence m is a rational number m is a rational number right therefore you are saying an uh, an irrational number an irrational number here if you see you are trying to equate an irrational number here in this step you are trying to equate an irrational number with a rational number so an irrational number cannot be cannot be equal to a rational number 
isn't it? This is the fundamental concept we have learned. Our in irrational number will never be equal to a rational number. Hence, our assumption. Hence, our assumption. Our assumption that that x is not equal to a is wrong. Correct. Hence x must be equal to a and now the moment x equals to a then we had x plus root y is equal to a plus root b and since x is equal to a so we can say root y is equal to root b and hence y is equal to b right so hence what is the conclusion so conclusion a plus root b is equal to x plus root y if it is true where b and y must not be must not be perfect squares perfect squares then a is equal to x and then a is equal to x and b equals y 